What's up y'all, it's Jimmy coming you guys with another video. Before we get into the video, as always, make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. And when you guys hit subscribe, please make sure you guys are hitting that notification button. So you guys saw my video on the best sneaker trends of 2021. You guys actually ran that video. Nothing crazy, but it is actually pretty nicely viewed. So appreciate to all of you that have watched it. And if you guys haven't watched it, I'll post the link to that down below in the description. In that video, I basically talk about the best sneaker trends, which I said were clogs and Birkenstock Boston. You know, if you guys don't agree with that, they're probably not the best, you know, to you guys or whoever that disagrees with me, but they're definitely a newer wave, a newer style that people are definitely starting to rock a little bit more in 2021. And with that being said, I'm not saying that these styles are completely new and you know, they've recently resurfaced, but with them being a little bit more trendy and a little bit more popular, at least with the Birkenstock Bossons, you know, this is the shoe that I'll be talking about in this video. You're always gonna find either like a Walmart or a Target and eventually these other fast fashion brands that will kind of do like their imitation knockoffs. And I'm here to show you guys probably one of the worst I don't want to say it's the worst, but it's definitely not that great in my opinion. I mean, it's not really a knockoff ride because they're not trying to be bootleg or fakes, but imitations of the Birkenstock Bossons. I know H&M has a pair of imitations. I didn't grab those, but you know, if this does well and you guys want to see how those look in comparison to the actual Birkenstock Bossons, I'll go ahead and pick those up and then show you guys a comparison video on those. And honestly, the real reason why this video idea popped up in my mind was because I was on TikTok and I saw this guy, he went to Walmart, he bought these because he was saying he was feeling too cheap to actually buy the Birkenstock Bostons, which to be fair, at the end of the day, if that's how you want to spend your money, I can't knock you for that. You know, I can't say, hey, you have to go buy the actual Birkenstock Bostons and you can't try to save money buying the Walmart imitation. End of the day, if that's what you want to do, then so be it. But I'm here to recommend to you guys, you know, I'm all about the frugal aesthetics, frugal streetwear, saving money when you can. And to give you guys some pre-context, here are the Birkenstock Boston's classic, very trendy shoe right now. These I got for like 65 bucks on eBay. So like I said, if you guys are interested in getting a pair of these, you don't have to pay the retail of 150 buying brand new. I actually got these brand new as well. And they were only, like I said, 60 bucks from eBay. So if you guys are interested in getting a pair, you don't have to pay that full retail price. If you guys are willing to look for a deal, then I'm pretty sure a deal will come to you guys. So you guys can see, this is how the shoe looks. Very simple, I have worn them a couple times. I wore them in New York, so they are a little bit more beat up, but with these Birkin socks, they honestly do look better the more you wear them. But overall, the shape and comfort of the shoe is unmatched. The quality is on them is on point as well. You can tell the suede is not as soft to the touch. The footbed that Birkenstock use is honestly unmatched because it actually is pretty comfortable as hell. I'll say you do have to break them in, but once you do, they really do mold to your feet. So you guys saw that quick little background of the actual Birkenstock Boston's. Like I said, I got those for $60. Retail on them is actually $150. So if, if we're gonna compare the Birkenstocks, I'll go ahead and say Birkenstocks are actually $150 but just a pre-context is you can get them for a lot cheaper if you guys are willing to search for deals and get into the ones from walmart i know you guys are gonna think i'm being picky as hell or like a little drama queen or whatever it is but i don't know there's just something about these i'm telling you these are not it um just the shape yeah the shape kind of gets down like that look but something about it still just looks a little off in my opinion. So I got two colorways to show for you guys. This is more of like just like a paler khaki colorway. And then the other color I have is more similar to the one I have. It's like a dark brown. Um, I'll say my biggest thing that I don't like about these, one is the quality on them, but also this belt buckle looking thing right here. And then as you guys can see, like just the shape of this middle portion is just way too off. Like um, there's just something about it that I'm just not the biggest fan of in my opinion. And of course that footbed is not gonna really mold to your foot as much as the Birkenstocks. But to be fair, right, you know, we have to look at the price. These were $14.98, you know, in comparison to the $150, $160, 
it definitely is a fraction of the price you're basically you're saving like 90 percent of your money buying these you know maybe if you are into just quick fashion and you just want to get that look done for an outfit or two i guess these would work you know i still think they do look a little off but if that's your thing then so be it i'll just say um you know, I myself, I don't really like to buy into like these trends or whatever, just because I am very particular with how I spend my money right. And for myself, I'm not gonna buy into something that's super expensive if I don't think it's worthwhile, if I don't think it's something I could wear all the time. And I'm telling you guys with those Birkenstock Boston's, I mean, that's something that's honestly kind of timeless, right? It's not gonna be something that's gonna go, I mean, it might go out of style, right? You know, maybe a couple months from now, no one's gonna be wearing those, but at the end of the day, there are brown suede sandals that you can really still wear with any outfit if you want to. So there's a lot of longevity in those Birkenstocks, in my opinion. And that's why I don't think these right here are worth it. You know, just to compare, these are the Birkenstocks in my right hand and these are the Walmart pair on my left hand. I mean, you guys can see that footbed is way thicker on the Birkenstocks. But here is how the two look side by side. I mean, let me know what you guys think. You know, like when I look at them, yeah, they're somewhat similar, right? Like they're pretty decently similar, but this belt buckle, the thickness of the cut of the whole shoe itself is just throwing me off. My girlfriend made a good point when, when, when I brought these home, you know, she had no idea I was getting these. Like I literally saw TikTok was out and was like, all right, F it, you know, I'll stop at one real quick. You know, I'll make a quick little video on this to show you guys these shoes. Cause you know, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are gonna see those TikToks, these frugal options and think like, hmm, you know, maybe I'll just get those rather than the actual thing. But I'm telling you guys, this is the one time where I'm like, you know, just spend if you can, right? Spend a little bit extra money. You know, I think it's gonna be well worth it in the long run. Um, just because sometimes there's just some things you can't really cheap out for and I'll say this is one of them Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think they're similar enough to where you wouldn't want to spend that extra money? Or do you guys think they're different enough to where you guys would really fast fashion is gonna be a thing That's gonna always be around right there's always gonna be like these department stores style brands that are gonna pop up with things like this you know nonetheless if they want to give people a cheap alternative I can't knock them for that right like at the end of the day, not everyone has that spare income, that spare money to just pay $150 on a pair of sandals. So can't knock you. You know, I've been saying that a lot, but you know, I just don't want you guys to think that I'm all about the name brand. You guys gotta get the name brand because I don't believe that, but I do believe in making your money go far. And I think you really do make your money go far when you do get these, especially for a good deal, right? Because at that point, it's only 40 more dollars. And this is something that's gonna last you way longer than this pair is. But that was a little comparison on the Walmart style Birkenstock Boston sandals, comparison into the actual Birkenstock Bostons. Let me know what you guys think about the comparison of the two down below in the comments. Would you guys cop the Walmart ones, yes or no? And let me know why. And it's gonna wrap up the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is a little something a little bit different. You know, every time I see a video that I can make, I'll jot it down real quick and I'll definitely try to make it so if you guys have any video ideas that you guys want to throw at me, feel free to send me a DM on Instagram. Put a comment down below in the comments and more likely than not, I'll make a video on it. But it's going to wrap up the video and until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.